What's up everyone? First off, I want to say welcome to the video. My name is Joseph Dooley. You know, just switching it up a bit. In this video, I'm going to talk to you a bit, you know, briefly about self-doubt and what I've done to, well, yeah, what I've done to be able to control it and also what I've used to help me. <coughs> Whoa. Hold on, give me a sec. <coughs> uh, definitely gotta wash my hands, but sorry about that. And I want to talk to you about the way how I've been able to handle and, you know, really control self-doubt when it tries to creep in and control me. And what this means could be with create work that I'm creative projects that I'm working on, whether it be t-shirt design, logo, you know, just posting pieces to Instagram, because believe it or not, no matter how many followers or how big you are, self-doubt is not something that you're going to be able to eliminate from your life. But the way how I have been able to, first, I realize that it's something that is going to continuously, hold on, let me go wash my hands. Okay, we're back. All right, so yeah, self-doubt is something that I realize it's always going to come and it's not something to be afraid of. And it's really being able to control your mind and to not let it hold you back from whatever it is that you're creating. And the way how I have been able to first control self-doubt was one realizing that it's something real and there's no need to run from it and also is to be willing to accept it as just a part of your makeup as a person especially as a creative person and to create something and think that it's not going to work out and people are not going to really care about it when really it all starts with the way how you think about the work and about how you think about yourself overall and if you really believe in yourself and this could be said for like many different different industries and self-doubt it really how do you say it came from the comparison syndrome once I stopped comparing myself to others and really, you know, carved my own lane and realized that there's a need for you to try to be creating work that looks like somebody else's work. Create the work that you like and share it with others. And, you know, at the same time, being inspired by others, but not really copying them. If you follow what I mean. All right, and then the second way is by carrying little pocket notebooks. I'm not sure if I talked about these in a video before, but these videos, wait a minute, videos, I'm filming a video. These notebooks are great. You know, you can fit them in your hand. I picked these up from my friend on Instagram, David J Creative. Make sure to go give him, go, make sure to go give him a follow and, you know, pick you up some as well. And, you know, it's really, when I started carrying pocket notebooks like years ago and you know really just writing down goals and schedules and sketching little ideas because it is so amazing to be able to have something in your pocket that you can pull out. Even if your phone is dead, you're gonna have a pen and paper or pencil, whatever, and you are able to just sketch your idea right there. Or you know what, I'm on, I'm on the toilet or I'm at dinner and I don't want to pull out my phone or I'm walking in a park and I don't want to pull out my phone. It's such a great thing and that's another way to be able to deal with self-doubt. And do I have any other, because I'm just doing this not planned off the top of my head. Another way I deal with self-doubt, let's see. Um, I don't really have anything any other ways. It's really just believing, welcoming, welcome, welcoming it, and also believing in my work. 
what else. And then not being afraid to share my work and not being too, not being, wait a minute. That doesn't even make any sense. Not being afraid to be myself in my work. There we go. And then carrying around the pocket notebooks. Pocket notebooks are great. Your cell phone is great, but having a pen and paper will always be even better. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what are some ways that you deal with self-doubt. And I'll talk to you later. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget there's more info in the description box below.